here today with a hidden gem, Never Alone. So I've actually played this in multiplayer mode, it's now time to try it out solo. Another cool thing you can check out is the video clips that you unlock along the journey. For now, let's start this game off. So brace in the blizzard and yeah we encounter this big bear, very scary indeed and um, it shows us that we need to basically run so a good start in these games is running and also jumping as we come to a ledge then we've got to obviously jump over that and make some distance between us and the bear so very simple but effective we can jump up on that ledge and the bear is still hot on our tail as we see the fox in the distance is this going to be our friend I hope so as it looks like the bear is closing in and well I was right he definitely is closing in this isn't looking too good for us as the blizzard kind of stops us from going forward the bear attacks us and we're left crawling up against the ledge when suddenly our fellow fox distracts the attention of the bear now as you can see here if you're playing with a friend press a on that second controller and they'll be able to join you for us we've got to press the y button jump over there and the bear goes in on that ice but yeah I'm still worried about getting across can we make it that was very close indeed and there you have it the weather did not clear up as the blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard but thanks to our friend the fox he did save us and there's a nice cinematic to enjoy And the great thing about this game is it still looks very nice today and sometimes the simple things just last the longest. There's a owl in the background there and um, yeah now we are against the wall and the fox need to switch to the fox so it's going to be that Y button obviously if you've got your friends with you they can be the fox and the fox just lowers that rope so we're able to climb up there get across very simple and effective though i do think there's going to be more challenges to come now this is the blizzard i'm talking about as we jump yes it kind of knocks us back so 
that blizzard we need to guard against that and we're going to be using the B button to guard against that it will tell us in a bit but um, just so you're aware that is what we'll be doing so yes we're gonna slide down there camera catches up to where we are and this is where we're told about the blizzard it's a very simple mechanic but it can throw you off game especially when you need to do things such as jump go past another owl and yeah we just basically made that ledge really don't know what i was thinking here but i yeah just jumped off so let's go back not too far to the checkpoint so the fox is very helpful especially with these spirits here he can basically see these spirits and then what he does is he reveals them to the girl and yeah that is how we're able to get across another owl there revealing another video so yeah all we've got to do here is change to the fox and when you can get up the wall obviously first try for you guys takes me a few times these days um, you'll be able to see the spirit there and yeah you've got to jump over to that spirit that's going to lower the spirit down for the girl to get across the fox does seem a bit faster but I can't say for a hundred percent as always guys thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and a potential sub would be very much appreciated So just now it's basically saying that they've helped each other out and they've managed to find their way back home. Unlike me who can't even manage to avoid these winds, be careful of this wind because it can push you back and land you in the water like that. Lucky we only have to deal with the one character and the other one will follow us as we come against this kind of stone rock the fox is able to slide underneath now when you do climb up as the fox make sure you wait for the spirit and don't just jump across like i do make sure the white is kind of more solid and secure as you can see there i jumped too soon you need to wait for the white to to show up lucky it did show up and we're able to switch over to the girl and get across now i'm not quite sure what this spirit was doing here i was trying to like you know have a look to see if i could potentially go on top of it but i realized that is going to be pointless and if there was some super secret way well it's better not to waste time and just go on ahead now it really gives you a final test before you get back to the village as you see three spirits up there so we're going to have to change to the fox and i guess it's good because it's making sure you understand the mechanics of the game so that when you encounter these spirits later you are able to know what to do having said that we do manage to get these spirits down and we do it quite nicely so we are learning the ways of the fox but yeah definitely watch out for that blizzard still i'm gonna leave it here today guys i will be back with a part two but the main thing is we've got to the village today and yeah it's an awesome awesome game if you haven't done already do go and check it out until next time it's peace from me
As always, a big thank you to you guys for staying with us till the end and for watching. Hope you did enjoy it today and be sure to subscribe for more videos. It is always appreciated your continued support and I'll see you next time.